Coming right up, yet more Adobe Illustrator graphic design hacks, which will show you how to use Adobe Illustrator like a boss. What is up people, Tom with Tutorial Graphics back again with another graphic design tips video. My previous upload that went out on Sunday was very well received and I had positive feedback on that video. So I decided to make another part two and bring you yet more Adobe Illustrator graphic design hacks that without a doubt will make your design life a hell of a lot easier. To check out the first part of this video, click the card in the corner. And finally, just before we start, let me know if you do find these tips helpful by commenting and smashing that like button. Also share the video if you find it really helpful. That way I know which content works well on my channel and will carry on making that content. I may even make this into a mini series based around Hacks Illustrator as well as Photoshop. Anyway, let's get right into this list of Illustrator hacks. Now, this is something very few people know about and I myself only found out about this more recently. What is the tilde key you may be asking? Well, the tilde key is on your keyboard and it should be in the upper left corner. It looks like this. In Adobe Illustrator, we can use it to create some amazingly cool shapes and geometric freehand patterns. Select any shape tool, so let's go with the star. And make sure you have the stroke option selected without any fill. Hold down the tilde key and then click and drag, rotating as well if you like. You can have some serious fun with this and utilize it in many different shape tools. I'm using Adobe Illustrator CC 2016, so I'm not sure if this works throughout the other versions of Illustrator. Let me know if it works for you. For some strange reason, Adobe Illustrator does not yet have a feature that allows you to create a line of dots so easily, but there is a hack for it. Either draw yourself a line with a pen tool, or make an outline of a shape. Then go up to Window and open up the Stroke panel. From here, select Dash Lines and set the value to zero. For the gap, you're gonna to have to play around with different measurements for your own design. Finally, we must make sure the round cap option is selected and voila, you have yourself a dotted line. If you have a design that will end up using many different shades or tones of a specific colour, it may take a little while for you to shop around the different colour swatches or groups in Illustrator. There is a hack however that makes things a lot easier. Simply select the baseline colour you wish to use, so let's say this green here, and then open your colour guide menu like so. You would then be shown different shades of that colour, as well as a few other colours that will match it within the design. So you have yourself perfect harmony in colour in a matter of seconds. A lot of these hacks and shortcuts may not come so naturally at first, and they will take some time getting used to. But with time, they become second nature and are lifesavers. For example, I don't even realise most of the time when I use this specific hack with the spacebar. Simply hold down the spacebar until you see this icon appear, and then you can click and drag to move around and view your artboard. This really does save a lot of time and I use it every single day.
If you have a design with many different components to it and you want to copy and paste different aspects, there is a faster way to locate each part of your design easily and duplicate them. Normally you would have to search for that part and then hit Command C and Command V to copy and paste. Instead of searching your design for the parts you need, you can save each shape or path as a save selection. Go up to select and save selection. Name your selection something clever so that you can reselect it anytime within your design process. You then conveniently paste it and then keep going on with your design without losing your data. This comes in handy when designing artwork with many sections that are repeated. This is another very handy and cool little shape tool hidden away in Illustrator's arsenal of tools. Take the shape tool, this works best with a perfect circle so I would suggest choosing the ellipse tool. Make a circle that is only a stroke and not a fill. And then go up to object, path and add anchor points. From there, go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and then choose the Parker and Bloat tool. Play around with the slider, and you will see you can make some cool shapes and designs. You can also open up the Stroke window here, to round off any corners or edit the style, like so. This will be useful when designing something like a flyer, a leaflet or a greeting card. Pretty much anything that needs a decorative design. We all probably know that when you want to create a shape that is perfect and proportional, you must hold down shift and then click and drag. However, this can be annoying if you want to have the shape generated in a specific place. There is a quick keyboard hack that will help you with this issue. Select your shape tool and then hover the cursor over where you want to generate the shape in the exact center of the shape. Hold down Alt and Shift whilst clicking and dragging. Lastly, for today's Illustrator hacks and tools list, I'm showcasing the Align tool. Many of you will know about this tool, I'm sure, but some of you will not. It's very, very handy and I use it every single day in my design work, so I thought I'd give it a mention. You can open it by heading up to Window and then Align. Here, you can align shapes or paths vertically and horizontally. You can also evenly space objects up and down, as well as group and arrange them in more group sections. So there you have it, another list of Adobe Illustrator graphic design hacks. I hope you did find this video helpful. If you did, then let me know in the comment section below smash that like button and share this video to someone else. I'll be back on Thursday with a speed up video, so until then, design your future today. Peace.